Hello again, Fabrice here. We are welcome to this new video. And today we are going to look at perspective and especially this effect, which is kind of when you look up. Um, well, let's exaggerate a little bit. I'll add a few flaws to this. Let's I'll bring that back a little bit. It's kind of easier with it's more pronounced with towers or large buildings, I guess, things like that. And uh, so let's just do that. Maybe even one more. Okay. Um, so here, when I'm close and I look up, we have this very intense perspective effect, right? Which um, is not actually like this if you were to look up at a building because we have two eyes, we don't get this in reality. But since we're looking at with the lens, we have this one point perspective. Uh, well, here it's two points perspective. Yes, one and two. All the vertical lines converge. So what we want is to keep all the vertical lines straight like this. So we uh, in normal, well, in normal in offline renders, we usually have this uh, as a plugin that sorts it out for us. But here in Unreal, we don't have a plugin. And to be honest, we don't really need one because we can do it this way. So here, I'll create a camera here, Cine Camera Actor. And I'll use the uh, Cine Camera Actor here in the viewport. So now I'm looking at this camera and here in the details panel, you see we have the film back, which is usually 69. And that's great. But also, uh, we have the ability here to change the sensor width and height. And that means that basically, it's like working, well, it's like working, it's, it reminds me a little bit of um, the old five by four cameras, you know, with massive um, plates at the back. So basically, that's what we're doing here. We're increasing uh, the size of the plate. So we can do some crazy, crazy, crazy size. So here you can see I'm on focal length of 12 mil, which is why we've got so much distortion. So I'm actually just going to move back a bit. Uh, well, quite a lot, in fact, as much as I can, uh, in order to make the perspective flatter, right? So here I've, I'm given a little bit more leeway in my focal length. And that means that um, I have uh, a lot more of the building. So here we've got 35 mil. So in architecture, we usually quite happily go down still to about 18 mil. So typically, uh, we're kind of a bit short on sky here. So uh, I'll move the camera up a little bit. But we can also kind of just carry on uh, increasing the height of the sensor. So that means the building is going to be quite small. But um, well, that's why we have um, super high resolution. And so here, uh, I'm going to use the high resolution screenshot. But if you want to do a very, very, very high resolution, please have a look at my other videos published on this channel. Uh, see here, I'll uh, do screenshot size multiplier four and hit the button and I know it's going to work. It's not going to crash because I've done it before. In fact, here I've, I'll open one I've done before in Photoshop. And you can see that basically we have uh, all the lines converging more or less to one point. So that's a one point perspective. And here we have so Create another full another layer, and here we have all the all the vertical lines dead on straight. Okay, how fun is that? And obviously here we just need to crop it, so we can uh, just crop it like that, as you would. So that's your initial sort of screen grab, and that's the crop. Okay easy peasy, and uh, we've got super high resolution. All right, well, I hope that was useful. Thank you very much. And please like and subscribe this video. Uh, and uh, see you next time.